My name is Scott Brill. I have worked for InterVarsity Christian Fellowship for over 30 years in a variety of roles, but for the last eight years, my focus has been on uh, bringing InterVarsity to Catholic affiliated colleges. And so uh, we're on our way to Assumption College, which is here in Worcester, Massachusetts, where I live. And uh, we work with both Protestant and Catholic students and help them to uh, grow in their love for Jesus and in their love for scripture and in their love for each other. I grew up Protestant. I didn't know that Catholics existed. But then coming here, I noticed that a lot of people were super into their Catholic faith and I wanted to make it a thing to kind of know their side too, even though I didn't agree with it. I wanted to understand like where their views necessarily came from and why they believed what they believed. I actually did not go to Bible study throughout high school, and so it was really new to me. But I was really impressed with just how, I mean, we're all from different faith backgrounds. So I just knew I wanted to be around other people who are just like me, who you know had the same idea of love and, and Jesus. We meet for an hour to study scripture together, and that's kind of our common ground. We're just college kids wanting to take a study break, dive into the Bible, and just have a good time. There's no one really says, oh, I'm Catholic or I'm Protestant. It doesn't ever really come up at all. I really like that we take passages and like we are asked to read them over and like question certain parts. We begin to talk about it together. Students ask their questions. Another thing that's really awesome about Bible study is no matter where you come from, um, what religion you come from, it's so applicable. So Jesus is the leveler. We all say we have faith in Jesus. And so when we study the narratives of his life and look for ways to live out the, the things that we're finding in these texts, that actually becomes the commonality for us that I think makes some of the other distinctives sort of disappear. So that's how we build unity. And, and I think that this is sort of, this is unintentional brilliance on my part. Maybe they're Protestants, but you're also people. And you know, you have your own reasoning, you have your own perspectives. And I can't just like devalue you as a person just because you don't like agree with me. Instead, I, you know, I don't want to like fight for my side. I want to understand. And by understanding, then we can have um, like better communication and more dialogue and really like get somewhere as opposed to just shouting people like, down. Right now they're, they're having a party like in honor of like Jesus. I feel like we all have this amazing, you know, God that we have in common, Jesus in common. And no matter if, you know, we have small differences, nothing can um, separate us like that. In the underline, it's still the same message. It's still the same idea of love, the idea of Jesus. Something excites me as a, someone who works in Christian unity, it's that, it's that moment, right? In the same way that I get excited that Jesus comes alive to them out of the pages of the scripture, it's also that like, oh, you love Jesus too. That's so cool. <laughs> and it's a holy moment. So, so God, thank you for tonight. Thank you for this place that is warm and full of friendship and full of your love. Thanks for keeping us. And